Hello. I am Dr. Cosmo. Let's continue the lecture. The pair countries, amazingly, also had similar shapes. What exactly does this imply? MJ did not seek out countries with similar shapes to verify if they also had the same history. He was simply fumbling across history and realized that the Crusader era of the Mediterranean world of 800 years ago was very similar to the history of the 19th to 20th century, Worldwide Wars period. This means that the consciousness that moves both history and the shapes of their countries are interrelated. How does a country get its shape to begin with? Mountains and rivers form natural borders. In recent times, borders of countries are formed with human intervention, but even still, geographic features become the determining factor more so than human intention. However, this is where we all get baffled. Isn't it nature's force that took over millions of years to create the geographic features that determine the shape of the land? Can the Earth's natural forces really influence human consciousness? MJ did not conclude that the Earth forces influence the human consciousness. He believed there was an even simpler answer. Yet, MJ could not readily find the answer. Again, through his historical research, he discovered yet another mysterious phenomenon. This was regarding time. MJ then reanalyzed history. He noticed that in history, every now and then, there are very strange occurrences. Even from before, when he was a senior high school student, he had a very strange feeling when listening to lectures on ancient Roman history. The ancient Roman government was highly advanced. They built aqueduct systems, they had a senate. Yet despite having an advanced political system, they went through a dark age and even had a period where a very primitive autocracy prevailed. At times, human beings degenerate or regress. Also, there are times when once a peaceful country, all of a sudden begins to engage in war. MJ felt it was very strange that such things occurred. He felt as if history was not continuous. Even now, when he studies history, there are many actions or movements that he cannot understand. I'd like to give you one example. In 1204, the Fourth Crusade occurred. Oddly, the alliance of the armies between Italy and France invaded and annihilated their ally, the Christian country of the Byzantine Empire. The Byzantines then fled to the Islamic country and built the Empire of Nicaea. Let's take a look at the map of this movement. To MJ, the Middle Ages were mimicking the 20th century. In the 20th century, we see the US is in the east of the map in the figure. In the Middle Ages, the Byzantine Empire, originally in the west, specifically fled to the east despite being separated by an ocean as it fought with Italy and France. As a result, the countries are positioned exactly like the 20th century map. Please recall that history of the Byzantine Empire is exactly similar to the United States, and history of Italy and France are like modern Japan. In the modern age, the US is in the east, and Japan is in the west. During the Middle Ages, for the Byzantine to flee to the east to the Islamic country was a very difficult task. One would think that they should have simply fled to the north. This baffled MJ quite a bit. No matter how he thought about it, it was as if the Middle Ages were copying the patterns of the 20th century. Meaning, the past was mimicking the future. Was it even possible that the past could mimic the future? However, there were other examples throughout history where the past seemed like it was copying the future. If it appeared that the past was copying the future, then this implies that time was not flowing from the past to the future. What exactly does this mean? It was the year 1997 that MJ discovered the connection between history and the shapes of the land. He thought for a long time about these mysteries. Unable to find a definite answer to his question, he took a break from his studies on history. In 1998, he began a different research. However, after seven years, in 2004, he eventually returned to solve this mystery. Let's all follow how MJ's ideas led him into finding the answer and how he connected and integrated his entire findings together by tracing his steps chronologically. MJ's goal was to discover what influences the consciousness of people to move and take action. In the quantum theory, it is said that the consciousness determines the position of the electrons. 
However, without understanding the motions and mechanics of consciousness, this phenomenon wouldn't be solved. As such, from 1998, MJ began his quest to solve consciousness. It was through this quest that MJ began to understand how the mind works.